everyone! Did you know that Photoshop offers hands-on tutorials directly inside of the application? Well, I've had the privilege of creating eight of these tutorials as of this recording, and I wanted to show you how you could find them and also give you a peek at how they work. Right now I'm viewing Photoshop in the start window, which is where you're at if you don't have an image open. You may be most often on the home tab here where you can open an image or in this view here, you'll see your most recent images. But if you switch to the learn tab, you'll get access to all these hands-on tutorials. You'll also find them in the help menu at the top. This will allow you to actually find more of these tutorials. Anytime you have an image open already, you can access this help menu and then go down to hands-on tutorials. That brings up the discover panel for these hands-on tutorials. And from here you can find all of them and they're organized depending on what type of tutorial they are. I want to go down here to photo editing and then go to retouch photos because most of the tutorials that I've created are found here. In fact, these first four tutorials are all created by me. Let's open the one for use the healing brush tools to remove unwanted content. So you'll see my picture here and my name that this uh, tutorial was written by me. And when I click the start tutorial, it automatically loads the image for this tutorial. And I then get navigation information as to how to step through this tutorial. So you see that it says select the spot healing brush tool. So I'll click on the spot healing brush tool and then it tells me click to open the brush menu options and then it tells me what size to adjust the brush to. So all you have to do is follow along with these right on your screen here. These tutorials are a great way to learn that specific skill that you want to try and master. So give some of these hands-on tutorials a try for yourself and let me know what you think. Also, keep an eye out for additional tutorials because I expect that Adobe will continually build this library. Thanks for watching.